from your weather authority, meteorologist Ron Rhodes. I've got breaking news right now. Angie, pay attention. Uh, this is very important. Uh, the voice of Smokey Bear right now is Sam Elliott. So there you go. Uh, there you go. And the original voice, uh, courtesy of Kurt Finke, he looked this up, uh, one of our former directors at Eyewitness News, Jackson Weaver. Uh, the, the, <laughs> it, it was not anybody that we, it was not the guy who did Tony the Tiger. So Jackson, I guess he was a DJ back in the 40s and 50s, and that's kind of how he got the role, somehow, some way. Anyway, but he did it for years, but Sam's got it now, and Sam's a good one. Hey, here's something that is weather-related that's really pretty cool. You know, it's been a pretty mild summer. We have actually had, since the beginning of June, nine days with highs in the 70s, in the 80s, 41 days with highs in the 80s and only 19 with highs in the 90s. So we've had more than twice as many days this summer with highs in the 80s, the 90s, so, and even a few in there in the 70s. So, I mean, it really hasn't been that terrible a summer. Now, here's the deal. Today looks like we're going to hit our 20th day in the 90s, though. And we're moving fast toward that big 9-0, but it's not like we're getting well into the 90s. We only had those three days in July where we had mid-90s, feeling like 105 plus, so we're pretty rough out there. And usually, if we're hitting 90, it's 90 or 91. We got the traffic backing up a little bit, of course, on the Lloyd Expressway. That's our MCF construction camera there at Deaconess Gateway. A little bit of traffic out there on, uh, in Powderly on Everly Brothers Boulevard. Had a lot of fog this morning, first thing, but obviously that's long gone. As we look through the trees, you can see Highway 41 in all its glory. There's the northbound traffic on 41 and southbound traffic on 41. You can see some clouds starting to build up a little bit in the sky. And we do have a chance for rain today, showers and a few thunder showers out there, but nothing too terrible. And looking at downtown Evansville, a little bit of traffic on Riverside Drive as we approach the noontime hour, looking out toward the west side of town. Temperature-wise, 86 degrees. The dew point's still up there in the low 70s. North-northwest wind at 6 miles an hour. So we do have a bit of a wind kicking. It's going to be more you know, west-northwest today as opposed to the southwest wind we had yesterday, but still plenty humid out there, unfortunately. Uh, Temperature-wise, we showed you these earlier, and we still have mainly low to mid-80s, but it's feeling like in some areas... 90-plus, uh, 84 in Jasper, 84 degrees in Owensboro, 82 Carmi, 85 degrees in Dixon. What's Mama got? 84 degrees in Calhoun. And on the comfort meter, with that dew point at 71, it's not tolerable, not humid. It's very humid. So we've actually kind of nosed our way into the very humid range. At least it's not steamy. And we've only had a few of those steamy days so far uh, this summer. As we take a look at this great shot from Norm Klein, it was a beautiful sunrise this morning. And I love, he's right there on Mesa Lake, which is just outside of Mount Carmel. And you got that great sky and reflecting off the water. Just a really cool shot. Norm gets some great shots, too. He's a great follow on Twitter if you do that uh, because he gets a lot of good nature shots. Now, here is what our risk is today with these thunder showers. Just thunder. I mean, obviously, lightning is a threat. But as far as a severe weather threat for damaging winds, large hail, and the like, that's going to be farther to the east where they do have a marginal risk on the mid-Atlantic. Uh, coast, so it's not for us. Live first warning to the radar is a quiet run. I do expect to see some showers and thunder showers popping. They'll be widely scattered, though. Our chance for rain is pretty small, at least here in Evansville. A little bit greater, though, south of 64 in southern Illinois and across western Kentucky. That's where most of the action looks like it's going to be. But even then, we're talking about a pretty small chance for showers and thunderstorms, 20 to 30 percent. As we take a look at future tracker to kind of time things out for you, and it's kind of overplaying the rain just a little bit. It's done that a lot lately, although we are going to see some activity, though, over the next few hours. Things are going to be kind of popping, again, mainly along and south of the Ohio because that's where the boundary is. That boundary is going to work its way to the south, though. And by tomorrow morning, we're going to have a less humid day today. And, and you can see by evening, I mean, just a few showers and mainly down to our southwest. So things are improving as we head in to the evening for Friday after 5 and anything else that might be going on, of course, across the tri-state this night. And as we look at Saturday, just a few clouds down to the south, but we've got a good dose of sunshine expected uh, throughout the day tomorrow. And again, less humid air for Saturday. Those are two good words to talk about, less humid. And today we're talking about humid. <laughs> at times, very humid, unfortunately. Mix of sun and clouds, a few showers and thunder showers out there. Nothing severe is expected. And the best chance is going to be in the afternoon. They'll be tapering off as we head into evening, and it's going to be down to the south. As far as the next seven days are concerned, well... Looking good tomorrow. Tomorrow's the pick day for the rest of the week, and it's not even close with less humid air. 86 degrees for a high. Looking good for our Saturday. Not so much on Sunday, but not too bad. 20% chance of rain. It's going to be humid. But here comes the very humid air. Dew points in the low to mid 70s, so uncomfortable Monday and Tuesday. And she's going to have that AC cranked in her car. She's going to step outside. Her glasses are going to fog up. Uh, the good chance of rain is going to be on Tuesday 
And then we do cool off just a little bit midweek. But yeah, Monday, Tuesday, looking a little rough. This did not look rough. Angie, come out here. This is from last night, a sunset. Holly Ooh, Johnson got this in Livermore. That. This is called a mackerel sky because it looks like the scales of a mackerel. These are actually cirrocumulus clouds. They're almost like little puffs of popcorn way up in the sky. It's beautiful. But with that cool it's a orange light underbelly. Color. Yeah, it's right there at sunset. Of course, we had those clouds a couple of nights ago with, after the storms, those mamatis. I like these two a lot. These cereal cumulus clouds are pretty cool. Gorgeous. Good job, yeah. everybody. Go Holly. Thank well, you. When we come back with Local Lifestyles, local filmmakers PJ and Eric and Blood Moon Pictures right after this.